Today, let's talk about how to promote network marketing business on social media. It's the main method that I use to become the number one income earner in that company. First, I'm gonna teach you what I call the buy cycle. Next, I'll share the number one mistake that most network marketers make when it comes to promotion. Then I will share the red hot marketing method that is working right now. That is the type of promotion you have to be doing. Okay, so let's talk about the buy cycle. Now, bear with me here. I'm not a professional artist, but uh, this is a about the best I can do. What do most people do when they try to promote their business on social media? They post what they have for sale, right? Whether it's a buy one, get one, or it's 20% off, or it's a, hey, we have a special promotion going on. And they post as if people have been eagerly awaiting their post. And the truth is that's not the case. Not only are people not going on social media, to purchase things, they're not interested in just a sales link. And I'm gonna break down exactly why. So this is the buy cycle. And these are approximations. But from being a full-time marketer for over 16 years, generating hundreds and hundreds of thousands of leads, millions of dollars online, this is what I view the majority of products that are promoted anywhere, not just social media, about 5% of people will never buy from you. Even if they want your thing, they're just not gonna buy it. It's just not how they roll. They're just not gonna buy from you. I would say less than 1% are actually ready to buy from you. So could you make a sale? If you post your thing for sale and you have the link and how they do it, you totally could, but it's much more likely that you're posting that link to people who don't wanna see the link, see it as spam, stop following you, unfriend you, you know, say stop trying to sell me, right? It's much more likely for you to create negativity than a positive response when you're just posting the thing that you have for sale. What is this number? And this is, this is the number that I love, and this is the number that I highly encourage you to embrace, 94%. They're not ready to buy, but they need more information. Very likely, they may actually want what you have for sale, but if you don't educate them and you just hit them with a link when they're not ready for it, they'll never buy from you. You'll never know these people. 94%, they would need more information to make a buying decision. And so that's why education on social media is so powerful. It's why we do so many videos. We're constantly dropping education. You know, one of my favorite quotes is from Jason Fried, one of the co-owners of, of Basecamp, out teach your competition. Are you posting education? Are you trying to help people and educate them on the benefits of your product or just trying to corral those kind of people that may need the product that you do have? And so if you focus here, if you focus on providing more information and education and attracting people to you, you may have heard of attraction marketing. If you focus more here, you're gonna make sales a whole lot easier. Okay, so what is the number one mistake that I see network marketers make and, and how does that apply to this? The biggest mistake that network marketers make around marketing is they, they simply focus on talking about the thing they have for sale. It's, all, it's a one trick pony. This is all they talk about. So if they have shampoo, their timeline, their feed is filled with things about shampoo, right? Here's the shampoo. Hey, we got it on sale. You should get the shampoo. Here's me putting it on. What's happening here is they're not tapping into any of these people. You're missing a huge percentage of people that might want the benefits of your product but you're just approaching them in a way that they'll never be turned on by. Because if you try to you know, take someone who isn't ready to buy and get them to buy, what happens there? Resistance. So I'll give you an example. Um, there's a mall, and I bet you have one around you too, but there's a mall in my area that you, know, you, you might be cruising down you know, the aisle way and uh, all of a sudden, BAP! And the dead sea salt guys got you. And so I remember one day I'm walking, down, I'm walking down the mall and BAP! And this guy who had a kiosk selling dead sea salt scrub or whatever it is, had bapped me with a glob 
of stuff. <laughs> and he's like, hey, you know, this Dead Sea salt is really helpful. And he starts rubbing it in. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you know, I'm in a hurry. Like, I, I'm not, I, I don't want to buy your thing. It creates resistance. That's the same type, although maybe not as elevated, it's the same type of feeling that someone has when you're trying to choke them out with that thing you have for sale. If instead he said, hey, do you have 30 seconds and I can show you how this could really improve your circulation or whatever, whatever it does, I might have actually been open to that. But because he assumed that I'm totes cool with him dabbing some stuff on me, I didn't like it. Creative resistance. And so focus on education. You won't turn people off and you'll turn people on. You'll take people that maybe weren't ready to buy just yet, educate them a little bit, build a relationship with them a little bit, and you'll have plenty of buyers. And so this is the key that all attraction marketers use is they focus on education. Now, if the education doesn't have to be about the product, but you should link, you should logically think, what could I be sharing that might attract the type of person who would buy this thing? Who would buy this thing? And so let's say that you have a product that helps with uh, back aches. Well, couldn't you go online and search and locate education around how to relieve back stress or how to relieve back pain? And could you post articles about that or do a video recapping what you learned? Guess who would tune into that? People with back pain. People that don't have back pain wouldn't they're not gonna take the time to read it or, or watch it. But you could build a following of people that are looking to help that problem of theirs, and then you have a conversation with the thing you have for sale. Before I get to my last tip, make sure you subscribe. We put out content all the time to help you, the network marketer, crush it. So let me help you with the simplest method for you to come up with content that appeases this percentage, no matter what you do, whether it's weight loss, you know, back pain, travel, credit repair, financial services, what, whatever you do, let me help you out. And it's a, a very, very simple acronym. And it's, it's I L T it stands for invest, learn, teach. And this is a concept we've been teaching for well over 10 years and invest, learn, teach means you invest your time, possibly money, because maybe you buy a course or, you know, get a book or, or whatever you invest your time, possibly money to learn something then you teach from that thing that you just learned from. Let's say I was going into and I wanted to sell a product that helped with uh, sleeping problems. Well, I don't really have to be an expert on sleeping problems because I have Google, right? I could just Google what are some you know, common things that will help with sleeping problems. I could go find three or four articles and pull out my favorite tips from those articles do a video that says, hey, if you struggle with sleep, I'm gonna share with you some tips that I found online that may be helpful to you, stick around. And I could do those tips and guess what? Anyone that watches or comments or engages with that, that's someone that clearly struggles with sleep problems. I need to have a conversation with them to see if they're open to taking our product. So ILT is your absolute friend because it means you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to be an accredited expert, a guru. You can literally go and learn anything enough to provide some education to attract this 94%. Now, if you want to maximize your speed of promoting on social media and growing your network marketing business, I highly encourage you to register for our totally free training. It is our three step launch to grow your network marketing business online. And you can register in the link in the description, we put it at the very top link there, click it, register for it. And it's really going to walk you through step by step how you can get more people seeing your stuff and joining your business.